You've asked me what I do, what I bring to a project, and I think a good way to explain that is to show the start of a recent project. And there are two main ingredients. There are the, the client's site and the client's program. Their wish list. The program includes roughly how big is the house, maybe what the style is, how many rooms, and of course then there's the site. And I think my strength is bringing those two together to, to really create a unique piece of architecture on a unique site to meet the needs of a unique client. Step one is to go to the site, or step one, one of the first steps is to go to the site with the clients, understand what they liked about it, why they bought it, what appealed to them, um, what are their favorite parts of it, what are the assets that the site has. And then I want to know their program. What do they want? This client liked this barn very much and uh, thought it would be great to turn a structure like that into a house. And I liked it too. Strong, simple, straightforward, possibility for passive solar, that sort of thing. This is a picture they gave me. Not so much that they liked the architecture, which they did not like, but they liked uh, the broad expanse of glass, the, the deck on the sunny side of the, of the house, and um, uh, the, they thought the terrain was similar to theirs, so they, they in a sense, they liked this house, but didn't like it. So we, we had to pick and choose elements to it. I showed them this gift shop overlooking the Hudson River in New York that I had seen years ago and thought was quite nice. They liked the stone, uh, the, the stone chimneys, and they liked this rounded room. Particularly, they liked the classic mullion windows and the way it tended to frame the views. This is a picture in which uh, they didn't like the architecture, but they liked the stone walls, and they liked the stone chimneys. Um, the stone walls in the landscape, the house sort of growing out of the, of the landscape. They thought that was cool. So, I begin to study the site. Again, it's unique. There's no other site like this in the world. Prevailing weather comes in this way, from the northwest. The green illuminates their best views, almost 180 degrees of terrific views. The site slopes gently downhill this way. The orange is the solar path in the wintertime. Sunrise here, noon about 28 degrees high, very low. And sunset here in the, in the uh, south, uh, did I say southeast and southwest. Uh, completely different in the summertime. The yellow is the solar angle, the solar path in the summertime. Sunrise way up here in the northeast. And then very high sun, about 88 degrees here. And setting up in the northwest. Some nice sunsets in this area. You enter the site along this road. And, and uh, the property along this road. And I think this is kind of cool because it gives a variety of views to the house. So, um... It's almost like an outstretched hand where it's welcoming you and, and you get to know it before you get there, especially if we enter on this side, which is the leeward side of the house. It's protected from the predominant prevailing winds. And, of course, this is the windward side of the house. So that's where a lot of the harsh winter storms come from. How does that translate to architecture? Here it is. Pretty realistic representation. The road here, the house site, house site there. And if you remember um, the little barn that they liked, I bet you can see the antecedents here. Because here is that barn and the architecture that we've come up with so far, okay? And how did we get from those two? Well, I, I took this this rectangle part, right, or this triangular part of the garage, and I pulled it out and flattened it. So, very good for a garage. The winter winds come over the top. There's no roof in front of the doors to dump snow. 
this is the basic part of the of the barn and you see that that's uh, still the basic part of the house the lean to the slope in the front and then I took the, the roof and rounded it and rounded the building because there are these nifty views off to the east and that's right there so you can see how that all that all ties together this is a, a very efficient um, very efficient design it's about 2500 square feet so pretty compact and I think we've made good use of the space this is the ground floor there's a sheltered vestibule an outside sheltered door a vestibule dining room living room kitchen and people look at this and they say boy you know I have trouble reading a floor plan well let's look at it this way then and now when I say there's a sheltered entry in the vestibule dining room living room kitchen then your many clients say oh okay I got it I got it so it's fun to be able to walk through the floor plan and of course here then you can say well this is a little, looks a little, a little crowded uh, let's move this because now's the time to move it it's uh, a lot more expensive when um, when it's finally built um, very efficient use of the basement uh, this is right below the first floor the garage is over on this side so this is inexpensive space to finish living area um, a video area here home theater mechanical room bedroom bathroom stairs going up to the first floor let's take a look up at the third floor excuse me the second floor oh and as I meant to point out of course uh, uh, this may be hard to uh, to read and um, we can do this also so we can look right down into these spaces and see what it's like to come up the stairs enter the master bedroom master bedroom pair of walk-in closets bathroom guest bathroom bunk beds all right This is interesting, I think, too. If we um, if we hide these, but uh, oops, hide this, as I said. But I'll leave those skylights in place, and it sort of gives you a feel for what these rooms are like. So here's here's the bunk bed. It has four windows or three windows looking to the north. They're, they're small, sheltered from the north winds, but the skylights give a lot of light into that room. And then over here in the master bedroom, uh, the client wanted to have sort of an observatory effect so you can see the four skylights um, over the bed. Let them see. Um, let them see out into the night. If you say, I want a more realistic idea, more realistic idea of what the inside is like then we can say let's walk in the house and stand right about here and look at the main part of the living room so I put a camera there take a picture of it let me expand it and add a little color so there it is looking into the into that room into the great room but not only that, we can look around. There's the hallway, the stairways off that way. There's the door we just came in. And then this is pretty cool. You get an idea for what a nice view to the south you get from all those windows. and even outside the windows. Um, so here you are in the living room, fireplace, probably a big screen TV. But you see how cozy this is. Everybody can chat with everybody else. Very convivial space. 
and we can also do that <clears throat> excuse me on the outside of the house to give you a very realistic idea of what the uh, proportions look like when they're in perspective so here's a view sort of coming down the driveway add a little color so that gives you a, quite a realistic view of the house from the ground and uh, get over the top of these trees so you see the the shallow south deck that sun in to the basement in the winter time great views because we've studied great views from all the rooms because we studied the site know where they are know how to apply them so we have the architecture related to the site we have the inside working their program the inside workings of that responding as well and um, and that's it thank you very much